Reefing fam, what's going on? March here, Fragbox TV, Reef of Palooza, New York City, day two. Day two, we are back again. Yesterday's video, that was a lot of fun. Thank you again, everyone that came out, that I got to meet. Uh, let's get into this. This is gonna be a fun one too, hang on. It might be hard to beat. Okay, so today's video, I'm gonna walk through the show and I'm looking for the single most expensive coral. There's gotta be, I don't know, 100,000 different frags if I take into account everything here. This is a pretty good start. This mushroom at zoanthids.com will run you $4,500. I think it's worth it though. The thing's crazy. What do you call it? It's, a, it's just a Christian mushroom. I don't have a special funny Incre name for it. Incredible. It looks almost like an, an urchin. It doesn't even look like a coral. But uh, 22. 2200. So the other part of the video, it's fun walking around, we're trying to find expensive stuff. I'm also going to try and show you what I think is going to be the best bargain or what you can get uh, the most value for your money here. Um, I think that's a lot of fun. Actually, when I used to come here to the show, I would come with a budget in mind, usually about 500 bucks, and I wasn't leaving until I spent all of it. That was my coral money, and I was going home with as much coral as I could get and with as little money as possible. This is something that you see often, and I'm always a sucker for deals. You know, I like deals. Five for 100 or 25 each, but that works out really well, and you can get a nice collection, assortment of different zoas, some clove polyps, some gold mine galaxias over here in the back. 300 bucks for some Iron Man Blastomusa. I'd like to apologize in advance for my voice. I know it's annoying to begin with, and I did lots of drinking last night downtown in New York City, so my voice is kind of gone. So I'm gonna try and speak as the best I can. We this wanna see the most expensive, 500. This one's 500, but, but we have thousand, a, yeah. that, one's, that one's 600. Um, Acanthophilia, they were quite expensive. So these right here. Oh my God, what do we have here? Hello, hello, hello. What is this? Yuma? It's a Godzilla Yuma. No, it's a Godzilla. Godzilla. What? An anemone? A bounce mushroom? It can't decide. It looks like if all of three of them had sex, that's yeah, what that's exactly. what would come out. Make up your mind, buddy. Beautiful. 800, 1500 bucks. Just incredible. I've never seen a piece like that. And you guys know, we see a ton of coral come through the store. We get shipments, literally go through thousands and thousands. So if I say I haven't seen it, um, it's something special. Round two. What's going on, buddy? How you feeling today? I'm good, man. <laughs> Hungover? No, I'm great. No. I have my coffee. I'm good. Co He's got the liver of steel. Seven hundo. This one's on sale. Normally a thousand, but today it's nine hundred and ninety-nine. This is excellent value here. Check these out. It's only twenty bucks, and it's a plug completely covered in bling bling cyphaster. This is not a little itty bitty frag. These are nearing small colony size. Even here, this is what we call a flamethrower chalice. More than fair for 20 bucks. This gentleman here is telling me he frags bubble corals. I would not believe it unless I see it. Look at this. I bought a little frag and okay. uh, threw it out. I did not know you could frag bubble corals. Cut it up with a bandsaw. That is so cool. That's new to me. These are 40 bucks. They're like mini ones. Usually when you see a bubble coral, they're going to be about four, five, six inches across. They're massive. It's so nice to see kind of small pieces. That's, uh, that's what I learned today. Little word to the wise. If you're doing these shows, as the shows go on, the vendors do want to sell their corals. So my friend here was just telling me. I didn't get your name. Dan Connor. Dan Connor. That these yesterday were 100. Look at that. Today they're 80. So as the show goes on, that's actually really fair for 80 bucks. That's a beautiful chalice. Um, you're gonna get a better deal if you come towards you know, the last five, 10 minutes. That's what I used to do. You clean up nicely because the vendors, they don't wanna take anything home. A lot of them are coming from out of state. It's a pain in the ass to get here to set up. They want the corals to sell. So you come early, you cherry pick, you're gonna pay a premium. You come at the end, um, there's still, there's always a lot, a lot to go through and you can kinda you know, finagle a little bit of a better deal. Some bounce mushrooms, very large, OG, some Frankenstein. These will run you 3,000 bucks. Not 10. I still got one that's... When, when these first appeared on the, the reefing scene, yeah. I want to say five, six, seven years ago, something like that. Something like this would have fetched about 10,000 10, bucks. <laughs> 300, no. 300, 3,000. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Am I gonna make a YouTube video? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be on it. Yeah, 300 times 10. <laughs> that would have been that would have been a deal. I'm taking it home in my suitcase for 300 bucks. Why do the price of corals come down? Um, initially, you know, it's hot. It's a, there's a trend. People are gonna pay those crazy prices. And then as it grows, hobbyists collect it, and it kind of uh, makes its way through the hobby. And you'll kind of watch the price slowly over time become I don't know about more reasonable, but they come down naturally over time. You can see bounce mushrooms here. Um, when they first came out, they were just the prices were astronomical. Now it's something you know a, a hobbyist can aspire to to afford. 150 to 300 bucks, you're going to get a beautiful piece. Okay, I want to know. It's for sale in this tank. Sold. Oh, what was it? It wasn't an enemy. An enemy. 
Was that the sunburst that was here yesterday? Oh yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was very nice. Absolutely incredible. Check out the pattern, the color. It's healthy, it's inflated. That's exactly what you want to see from a side arena. Perfect example. Get out of here with this torch. Look at the contrast. <laughs> Stunning. 200, 100, 250. What I find from a lot of the vendors, they're kind of They'll do high end or maybe, you know, a little bit more on the low end. So these guys, I would say definitely high end, very nice frags. You need about a hundred bucks to take home a piece, but then you'll go to another booth and a hundred dollars will get you five or six pieces. Um, there's not too much in between, you know, just, just looking from afar, I can tell you this is going to be very high end corals, very expensive. If you're not seeing prices on them, uh, usually for it's for a reason. Check this candy out. There's a lot in here. If you were to take all the corals in here, put a price on it, probably equal, uh, price of a, of a nice car. Not, not a regular car, I'm talking a nice vehicle in this tank. Most expensive. I usually tell people uh, let me ask. Ask the boss. The kid the kids for sale? <laughs> that one there, what's that run? Thousand bucks. It's actually you know what? Like it's a lot of money but kind of by walking around and seeing some of the other prices it's starting to seem reasonable. Really nice torch. So much torch here, which I'm actually really happy to see are these. We don't see a lot of these. We see a lot of the Australian scolies. These are the button scolies. They're a little bit smaller. They're different in color. They're stripy, like completely different than um, some of the other ones. These we call button scolies. And they're, they're not crazy rare, but they're pretty uncommon. Clams. I am a sucker for Jurassic clams. It's hard for us to get them up in Canada. And uh, if, if I could bring them back, I'd buy them all. I absolutely love these. And they're cool because they actually they live in the sand. So if you get like a Crocea, a Maxima, Squamosa, you typically want to put it in the rock as it's rock boring. But Durasa will be happy just living uh, right on the sand bed. Not crazy expensive, not crazy beautiful, but still a very, very cool coral. Something that you should definitely respect when handling. This is the Palithoa grandis. This is the one when you hear about a coral putting someone in the hospital. This is it. This is the fucker right here that will do it. You, you cut them by hand? Yeah. I don't cut them, I pry them off by hand. Yeah, you can kind of like from the base almost yeah. just peel them off. So peel this one off. in the store, the staff, if I have them, they're not allowed to touch it. I'm wearing gloves, I'm wearing goggles, I handle them with care and respect the coral. Uh, that's the, one of the only corals that if we have, I'm the only one that's actually allowed to frag them. Okay, we've seen some expensive ones. Let's move back to good deal. Check these out. These are what we call honeycomb lapastra. And again, very old, fully encrusted plugs. They're not little. It's really, really good value. They're 30 bucks. Even this burning banana, that's a steal. For $30, that's a huge piece. These are not, these are not little frags. Free shit. Free candy. These Nemzies will run you $1,200 and $1,500. Beautiful anemones, and they're not small. These are these are big. You need a big tank. This is really cool. We have a Bauer Banky here. This is kind of an uncommon coral to begin with, and uncommon to see something so big at uh, a, a coral show like this. Typically, we're seeing smaller frags. We see some big acanthophilias, but this is the only one that I've seen like this. What does that run? That does for two hundred. Fifteen hundred bucks. It's really cool. Three thousand bucks. It's a beautiful, beautiful acanthophilia. Oh. This is, this is more impressive to me, right here. The chalice? Yeah, that is freaking awesome. What do you call this? Uh, Rainbow Sherbert. Rainbow Sherbert. Did you just make that up? I did. <laughs> yeah, nice, okay. And the price just went up too. <laughs> that's, that's how we do it. Oh my god, check these out. Tia, this one's for you. Gloss right over it because it doesn't look like a blasto. Actually, Tia, this one is also for you. That's, that's her cup of tea, blastos and mushrooms. Sure. If I'm on a coral budget, where am I going to get 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah. Giant chunks, Captain America. That's actually berries. very good value right there. That's what we call orange rainbows. These grow really, really well for us. You get really fat heads and uh, nearing a rainbow status. You get kind of a peachy, orange, green, blue, purple. I really like these. Look, 10 bucks. If you're really on a budget, you want a nice piece of Hollywood Stunner or some plating red Monty Cap, stuff that grows really, really quick. If you are got your eyes open, you can find uh, really good deals. Incredible, incredible. Ooh, what do we have here? Look at this. You see lots of acanthophilias. This, if you don't know what you're looking for, this would just fly right under the radar. This is a Wilsonian. It's kind of like a Bauer Banky and an Acan and a Favia all sort of had a baby together. It's quite an uncommon piece. It only comes from one part of Australia and it's really, really unusual. Really cool piece, quite aggressive. You can't really do gardens of them. 
but if uh, it's just kind of hiding here among some very other nice LPS for oh, this elegance is just incredible just on fire pink tips almost orange beautiful beautiful mm, lots of nice frames ten dollars can take you very far over here get a plug full that's a good deal right there this nice little red zone only ten bucks continuing on the theme of good value I don't know how someone has not grabbed this a can right here that is so cool it's worth way way more than just 25 bucks the pattern we're seeing three almost four colors it looks old it's fluffy it's happy it's a really nice example of an a can actually all of them these are definitely old frags really really good value for for so many rock flowers it's almost overwhelming check this out 25 bucks lots of them lots to pick from now this seems like a really good deal for me, maybe not for you guys here in the States that are watching. The reason is up in Canada, Recordia's run a lot more money, but a lot of them come from the Caribbean. I think that's why the price is reflected. Same with the rock flowers. You can get five here for only a hundred bucks. For us, usually something nice like this with bright orange colors is going to run you 50 for a single. So, really, really cool. I got stumped here. And then the yellow, got so many eyes. It's a lime, logo, yellow, green with a, yeah, the yellow eyes. Yeah, what, what, where are these from? Like what ocean? Indonesia. 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 They're just uh, yeah, very different than I'm used to seeing. Check out this fascination fabia. It's not a cool piece. So usually it's going to grow like a fabia like this. Traditionally, it's just going to grow flat or horizontally. But I guess because of the rock that's underneath it, it's got a cool, funky structure that's going on. It looks like it wants to branch. All these frags here are ten bucks. Ten bucks. So keep in mind, like some of the acanthos we're seeing, fifteen hundred. You could buy this entire tray for fifteen hundred. Lots of good value here. Half, half off of yesterday. Half. Everything goes half off. One piece I had to pick out of here, it'd be here. There's a little diamond hiding in the rock. These are raptor rainbows, if you know what you're looking for. Definitely worth more than $10. This is the gentleman that organizes uh, the show down here, the Godfather. One of the really cool things about coming down here is you actually get to meet the people behind the name. So, you know, you buy online Jason Fox, but then you come here and that's Jason Fox. That's him standing right there talking to you, selling to you. You can ask him questions. What are you growing it under? What kind of light? It's, it's really part of the experience. It's magical. It's really, really cool. A lot of people ask me, why do I come down? Because, you know, uh, it's kind of like a tease. I'm not bringing any of this stuff back with me to Canada. It's very difficult to cross the borders. We get a ton of coral anyway. There is a lot here that I see that I'd love to bring back. But for me, it's this is so much fun. Meeting you guys, coming down with the camera. I get to get away for a weekend. I'm in New York. And then meeting like-minded people, other business owners. And I always, always, always walk away with one or two game-changing idea so that's that's really it's it, it's just awesome this is really one of a kind here flamethrower yuma it looks like it wants to bounce it basically is bouncing it's like a yuma that's become bounce mushroom that'll run you eight hundred dollars incredible there's some little frags here i've never had good luck fragging yuma actually or growing for a matter of fact and this is just incredible this is the most expensive acro frag i found yet this will run you 800 bucks it's just something else Love, 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 love to grow one piece out. It'll only take 10 years. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? My inner, my inner Zoa, my inner Zoa collector is coming out. I've never seen this. Damn it. I was just talking a second ago about how corals tease me. These are, they're like strippers. Looky, looky, no touchy. So nice. These look like frags of some cup coral, maybe some pagoda. Yeah, kind of unusual. Need a pagoda. They will sneak right by you if you don't know what you're looking for. Those are kind of cool. I you want to say that one more time? You left, a ra you left a Rasta colony of zoas out of the water for an hour. Hours. I'm seriously considering just throwing these like in some wet newspaper the same way they ship them to me from Taiwan and just bringing them back. I haven't left this booth for the last 20 minutes. I can't get over these stupid things. If any one of our 20,000 subscribers are coral vendors, I want to give you a little, little tip. What this guy has done here with his pricing, it's very attention grabbing. If I'm walking by, it's great to have a little price on the front. It's great to write it on there. But something about these signs, very, very good job. I'm just telling from a hobbyist perspective, I got a little bit of insight on the both. As a store owner, I'm still a hobbyist. This is a great idea. It glows, you know exactly. Oh, honey, look at that, three for 60. That's gonna draw me in right away. I need to ask you for a tip. How the hell do you get the size of your polyp so big? Like, this is nearing blastocyte. It looks like a quarter. It's like low light. Low light, but the yeah, color. Usually light. I find that if you do low light, you sacrifice color. That I agree, it seems like the variety. It just depends on the variety. You've hit yeah. that sweet spot yeah. between size and, and you still got that beautiful saturation that, in the that, Thank you, it is hard. I don't, I don't, I guess. This display is just incredible. They've done such a beautiful job. 
They always have the nicest displays. Any of the shows you go to, Neptune, Ecotech, they're gonna they're gonna have the nicest displays. I can't get over this plate coral. I know we talked about it yesterday, but I'm a sucker for plates, and it's just it's like a Christmas plate. You got this cool green base, long red polyps. They're almost bubbly. It's really, really one of a kind. It is beautiful. It's kind of nice also to see corals from the side because when you take something home, this is how you're going to see it through the side pane of glass. Everything's being presented top down. It's a little bit more of like an honest representation of what you can expect when you get it into your home aquarium. I thought we were out of t-shirts yesterday. I'm very sorry guys. I went through my suitcase and I found a couple more. So we have some lucky frag box reefing fam. They're going to take home one of these, one of the last ones. If you find me here today, I think I got one or two left. Anemones, 15 bucks. That is a deal. A deal and a steal. Oh, this is really cool here. This is some fungia, some plate coral. So when they sprout, when they make babies, they drop these little ones. And you can see how they've landed and they become a bunch of little, little plate corals. I find that sometimes if you have a plate coral that's not doing well, if it's dying on its last leg, it'll actually shoot out a bunch of babies. It's almost like this, this last distress call to try and save some of it and will uh, reproduce in its final, final like moments of life. It's pretty cool. John here is, we just ran into each other and he's got some beautiful, Hello. show me what you bought, chalice. SE Dynamite Chalice. Show no, there. show me your collection. This oh, is the app to the 90. Incredible. Yep. This, he, you know what you like. Yes, we do. That is and, incredible. And my daughter Alexis likes her hammers. As Hi, you Alexis. Can see. How are you? <laughs> we love you. How's it going, brother? Are you talking shit about Canadians again? Hey, How's it going? How, are you doing? How, are you doing? <laughs> How much do I have to slip you to make sure my number comes out of this? Huh? <laughs> Wink. <laughs> you think, fam, you gotta see this Ghani. I've never seen a more yellow, true, true yellow Ghani pora. I'm used to seeing them like this. They're beautiful, they're green. We get some rainbows. Red is becoming a little bit more common, but not yellow. Not like that, like a true, almost like it's yellow, and then even more yellow on the on uh, on the polyps as it grows out. That's a really unusual and beautiful. Check out these jawbreakers. Perfect. Yellow with red dots. This is something in the hobby that we haven't really seen the price come down. They came out around three, four, five hundred, and they're still selling for about the same price. We haven't seen that trickle down effect like we have with bounce. Yeah, well, the little pills. guys, like we're from Long Island. Okay. And it's saturated. It's saturated. Okay. Up, guys, yeah. We're up in Canada and still. They're still fetching as, as much as they did when they were first when we first saw them come onto the market. The rarest thing you're gonna see at the show today is this right here. Forget the corals, forget the scolies, forget the acanthophilias. I don't know if I've actually ever held the box of one of these. This is the unicorn right now in the hobby. That's the Ecotech Versa dosing pump. Pretty cool. Okay, switch. We are looking at expensive ones. Let's go back to budget friendly, looking for a deal. This should not be 25 bucks. Someone today made a mistake. They're gonna lose their job. That is what we call up in Canada the ultra citrus mushroom. Yeah. I would pay happily uh, 150 for something like that. That's fine. Oh, that's yours. Ah, you see, it's not 25 bucks. I should ask before I start talking. This is his piece. He's taking it home with him. Definitely, definitely not 25 bucks. Mistake. And that's a blooper. We're gonna leave it in there. Check this one out here. I've actually never seen one of these. It looks like, as if a plutonium bounce and an OG, if they had a baby, this is a Yoshi bounce. It'll run you 700 bucks. It's really cool though. It's extra, extra bouncy. That vesicle looks like it's about to fall off. I don't think I've ever seen a more gold hammer than that. I think that's it. It's about as gold as they're gonna get. Okay, not crazy expensive. Not crazy colorful either, but just unusual. This is a Lata Stella Mosellei. I might be screwing up the Latin name. It's kind of a like a fathead favia, like favia slash acan. It's hard to kind of describe what it is, but quite an uncommon piece and easily to go unnoticed. It's not screaming in color, but pretty, pretty cool to see one. And it's small. Usually when we get them in, a lot bigger than that, closer to the size of a hand. This one is kind of on a frag size. We get them in from Australia. A little unusual coral to find here. This is a zoanthid that I absolutely love that's always just escaped me. I can't keep it, I can't grow it. It's the red hornets. Maybe the water's too clean, maybe too much light. It's just one of those pieces for whatever reason. Everyone's tank is different. Maybe it grows for you. Obviously, it's growing for this gentleman. It's not something I've ever had success for. So if you have a piece like that, you can't keep, you've tried it a few times, don't beat yourself up over it. Uh, even myself, I got a couple years experience under my belt. It's something that's just not gonna happen in our system. Okay, I wanna show you two things here. One, the Yumas are really cool. I mean, fire, like almost rainbow level Yuma. But also, check out the plugs that they're on. I've never seen anyone use a plug like that with the, with the logo and branding, it's kinda cool. I love it. This tank was more or less full yesterday. It's nice to see vendors moving some coral. You can start to see places in the rack where people have grabbed stuff. 
grafted, Monty? Jelly bean? Yeah, it's that's the natural colors. Oh no way! Yeah. yeah, some pink, some yellow, some blue, some red. This will run you fifteen hundred bucks. Check out this spicy lemon favia. This thing is unlike any other favia. It really grows quite fast, and you can see it's jumped from the plug right onto the rack. It's really going to grow onto any surface that it has an opportunity to. This booth literally embodies Tia as a person. If I had to take Tia and turn her into uh, a rock formation, this is her. You guys know me. Free shit. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> you guys want a hug? You want a hug? I, I want an actual one. Come on, oh. bring it in. Oh, bro. I'll, I'll have one of these. I'm a I'll hugger, man. I'll take one of these I'm two. I'm a hugger. Hugs. Two hugs. Oh, double hug. Feeling the love. Free shit. <laughs> Very busy yesterday. I gave no love to my favorite pump company in the world, Italian made. This is Sice. Uh, I got to see this actually in interview. We were just in Germany. This is their new, I believe it's a Synchra 3.0. It's like their tiny little mighty pump. Very, very nice stuff. Made in Italy, five year warranty. Anytime we're selling a tank, a reefer, and somebody's looking for a high quality pump that's not crazy expensive, Sice is the name you have to look for. You cannot go wrong. You know what? You guys would be very proud of me. I'm trying not to get sidetracked and I'm walking the corridors in an orderly fashion. Up and down, very against my normal nature. Whoa, hello. These are definitely a steal. Look at these agaves here. I don't know if they're salted agaves, blue agaves. They sometimes go by different trade names. And these little plate corals, either of these only 30 bucks. I'm surprised that more of these haven't sold. There's so much here that, you know, if I could take stuff home, oh. This is kind of cool, something that I haven't really tried doing. We bring in a lot of elegance corals and they're quite big and it looks like what they've done here is actually frag them. They look super healthy, so obviously it's working. And uh, it's nice because then you can actually, most people have smaller tanks, it's not practical to take home, you know, a 10, 11, 12 inch elegance. You can get them in these kind of cool golf, uh, golf ball size little portions. It's a beautiful Fabio there, it's only 15 bucks. That is definitely a steal. Very, very good price. So for me, the show's super busy. We don't have stuff like this in Toronto, in Canada, a lot of people. Talking to some of the vendors, some do really, really well. They've sold a ton of stuff, definitely worth coming. Some of the other ones saying, uh, eh, not so much. I don't know if it's like we're coming out of COVID. Uh, people are a little bit reluctant. There's gas prices, it's expensive to get here. You gotta fill up your tank of gas. Inflation, maybe a looming recession on the way. All in all, I'm super happy I came. Look at this, there's a lot of people. They seem to be spending money. Uh, good time though. I was here yesterday, I already gave him a shout out, but I think I'm gonna do it one more time. If you're looking for very high quality zoanthids, they do ship in the US, you know that we cannot, we're in Canada, but these guys will send them right to your door. It's RVA corals, super healthy. Look at the size of these things. These are not little itty bitty, lots, lots of heads per uh, plug. You have some Fruit Loops, some Belladonnas, maybe some frozen apples. Very, very nice color, very, very healthy. And Chris here is gonna sit, he's gonna hook you up. These are our frag box endorse US zoanthid supplier. Check these guys out. That's RVA, RVA corals. There they are again, the red hornets. I can't keep them. You have any words um, for me? Like to, to try, I have no luck keeping and growing those. It just doesn't happen. Low light, yeah, I've tried. Yeah, it's just one of those pieces. It just, it just doesn't happen for me. I'm happy someone else can grow it though. What's your favorite uh, YouTube uh, reefing channel? Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Love you, man. What do we have here? Do, do, do we have that filter? God. Oh, there's a filter already. Right. We're seeing it. Us and 20,000 other reefing fan members. What the heck is this? No C-section. No surgery. No implants. This is 100% natural. Yep. Incredible. Are you selling it? How much? You can just say the number. She's over here. She's showing me. You want to give me a high five? High five. Five thousand. That's it. You know what? So far, we're a couple hours in. That's the single most expensive piece we found here. And I'm telling you, if you were to sit here and count, there's got to be a hundred thousand different frags, coral. Like, there's there's a tremendous amount. Five thousand bucks. That thing's crazy. Truly, That's truly one price. of a kind. Sale price. Yeah, it was uh, ten thousand yesterday, right? Forget the corals. Tia, look at this. It's, oh man, I would love, love, love to take a little piece of that yep. home. We're crazy about the macroalgae. I like the weird stuff, stuff that you can't find. It's on fire. This is also something else I've never seen. I didn't know it could occur. This is grafted Cyphastria. Two of them grafted. You see it with Montes. We're starting to see it with Chalice. We see it with some other corals. I've never seen it happen with Cyphastria. That's really, really cool. Very unusual. Right now, this is Turbo Oceans. This boot that I'm looking at with this crazy grafted nonsense and expensive coral, Turbo Oceans. Okay, I'm kind of stuck here. I try and, you know, every 10, 15 minutes, I talk to the people, move to a different booth. I'm stuck at this one here. I haven't left Turbo yet because this tank is incredible. There's so much, so much candy. Look at the color on these anemones. Just perfect. It's mushroom 
Everything's super well encrusted. I don't know what this is. It looks almost like a grafted Passamacora. Really healthy stuff. Tons of Zoas. If you're into Zoas, you gotta come to the show. It's like a Zoa paradise. You're gonna find and see stuff that you've never seen before. There's just so much variety. Never seen one like that. Just straight orange. That is so cool. And I am a sucker for Alveopora. Not rainbow colored, just healthy and green and beautiful in all of its Alveopora glory. Check out this mushroom too. That is really one of a kind. That is a piece that should not still be here. It's like a golden yellow, maybe discosoma, but it's not smooth. Typically discosoma, you want to just smooth right through. This is almost like it's got this bumpy, different kind of texture to it. Nice chalice too. Oh, this is a great group. Cool convicts. I think this might be a Blastomusa merletti. I'm not 100% sure. You, typically, we only get them in the one variety, kind of like the one we get in the store. Man, what is this? Even the Aiken. This tank is actually on fire. This, I haven't seen one of these in a very long time. This is a Stratosphere Zoa, very small. I haven't had a lot of luck with this one. Um, I've never really seen a large colony of it. It looks like they've been able to grow and frag this one little ad here. It's an extremely, extremely rare variety of Zoa. What do we have here? Forget the bounce mushrooms. We see bounce mushrooms. We see, we see, we've seen all these. Look, great. Who cares? What are you? That is something else. It looks like a bounce, but on top of a discosoma. Usually we see bounce on Rhodactus, sort of like the sun kiss over here. That is just a crazy, crazy piece. I've never seen anything like that. It's called a Neptune. 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 And this is that top tier. Beautiful, beautiful little selection of corals. Really, really like the presentation here. Some of the booths, there's a lot, a lot of coral. Less is more. You don't have to bring every single piece in your farm. Bring the cherry ones, bring the nice ones. What the heck are these? What do we have? I've never seen these either. Incredible stuff. I just love how clean it is. It's got the black bottom, spaced out. When you have less, it looks more exclusive. Oh my goodness, you rainbow know what, what Zoa, is there. One Zoa you don't see a lot too is yes. called the Bitcoin. What is these? Plate corals. Oh. Uh, Bitcoin is right here. Do you see this yellow gold one? Okay, this one? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. It looks like something we call butt muncher. No, Sim no, no, no. Similar but not quite. Right this is a butt muncher. Okay. Uh, these are pretty good. Hundred dollars. These are St. Thomas mushrooms. I've actually never seen one true, like straight blue like that. That's pretty cool. It's a very good deal. Even the clams. I'm a sucker for clams. You guys down here in the States are spoiled. We don't understand. These are so, so hard to import into Canada. We got to go through a lot of paperwork, a lot of time and trouble. Absolutely beautiful. And only a hundred bucks. These would sell for about triple for us. This guy knows what he's looking for. Found a beautiful little Bauer Banky. But you got a 500 gallon 10 foot tank, you're gonna lose it. You're not gonna be able to see it in there. It's gonna take you a couple of years. It's gonna look like basically a frag forever, but it's, it's a really, really cool little piece. It was kind of funny. I turned to ask him how big his tank was. He said 10 feet. I, I usually am, I'm used to hearing 10 gallons, 10 feet. It's serious reefer. Reverse Tiger Torch. That is a torch. This is also a torch. This is crazy. What does this run? How much? Uh, 800. Beautiful. How about friends and family discount? $7.99? Sure. Yeah. $7.95. Absolutely. That is a cool torch. This open brain coral is just stunning. I'm not seeing too many actually here in New York when I was in Orlando just a few months ago. These were a lot more common, lots more of uh, more open brain. This is a really, really cool one. The saturation, the color on it, it's just perfect. Under, look at this, one little AI Prime. Actually putting out quite a bit of light. Absolutely love these lights. I can't talk about them anymore. My tongue hurts talking about AI. You guys already know. This, they're up there. They're the best. It's this or Ecotech. This is my favorite price. Whenever I see this, just ask. Do I even want to know? It's a lot. 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 Oh, you know who you are? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's, uh, what are these running today? Uh, six grand. Six. Oh, six. that's it. We've, we've passed the five grand mark. Guys, we are now at six. I don't know if we're going to find something more expensive than that. The Acanthophilias. This is what bounce mushrooms were when they first came out. This is the new expensive. It's the hottest piece. This is if you really, really want something special. Uh, six for this one? Yep. And this one? Five. Wow, what a deal. <laughs> Only 11,000 if you want to take home the two of them. We are over here, Coral King. Incredible, check out these plate corals. Incredible. I don't think we're gonna beat that though. I think at six, that's about it. I'll be very surprised. That's that's really, really Marco piece. A lot, a lot of money. We've taken, we've put them in the There's a reason why they call them the Coral Kings. They are definitely deserving of that name. Not for no reason. That's pretty good. How long does it take to graph like that? So, it's a 
my friends here again at the show and they want to ask me some questions. Uh, go to the Acro. We're diagnosing okay. coral today in, in New York. Okay, we have some green slammer burnt tips. First question I ask him, Alki says 8.4, that's good. Calcium 430, also good. Then I ask him salinity. He says he's using what to test it? A Hanna pen. Hanna, I hate, I love Hanna. I don't know if you're here or listening. Love the Hanna products. The pen, you can take it and shove it up your butt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take your email address here in a second, and I'm gonna send you free a refractometer, our own in-house brand. It's the one we use in the store. I trust half a million dollars worth of corals to it every day. I almost guarantee that your salt is off. I don't know how we're going to follow up with this video, but I'm going to take his email in a second. I'm going to send him one free of charge. The last Tomusa like well seeds, these have really taken off in the hobby, I would say, in the last few years. They were never as popular. And now you're finding little nice single heads, the same way we do eight cans and other sort of LPS. Very popular to make gardens out of them. If you've seen the tank we have in the store, Flua, uh, TS Fluval Evo 13.5 gallon. She's got one of the nicest Blasto gardens ever. Anytime we get in a shipment, she's always stealing one little head. And uh, it's cool because you put them together, they almost look like one kind of rainbow coral. This one is truly special. This is a very cool fox coral. Something that was really popular 10, 15 years ago, and you really do not see a lot of them at all anymore. It's, it's a hard coral to sort of explain. It's kind of like a bubble meets an elegance kind of. It's one of a kind. It's this really soft, fleshy thing falling out of. It kind of looks like an elegance skeleton. Too many carpet nymphs here, but we have a really nice large red adoni, very cool piece, and some blue ones. This is my new friend Machi. Machi, what's up? What's Hi. up, Machi? Machi's crazy. She's got three tanks at home, inspired by Tia's Fluval Evo. <laughs> These have become so popular in the hobby. The utter chaos. You can't confuse them with any other Zoa. When I first saw them, I actually brought back a polyp from ARC, Randy O in Buffalo. I paid 250 uh, for the first head, and then I was selling them for 250 for the longest, longest time. Now you get a frag, bunch of heads, four to five, maybe 20 bucks. It takes time for sort of the price to come down. But those were the glory days. I remember I was just, I was rolling in it. I was getting a lot, a lot of money per head. Um, but as, as hobbyists grow them, it's natural as the price comes down, they're still a beautiful, beautiful piece and you do not confuse Utter Chaos with any other Zoa. It does nothing even closely resembles it. Okay, we're done. I've been here four hours. We've walked the entire show. I've asked every single booth and that's it. The single most expensive piece. Lots of good deals to be had here. You can get beautiful corals, 10, 20 bucks. Like I said, if you've never been to a Reef Palooza, try it out. If you're looking for something absolutely crazy, that's it. And the entire show, every single booth, there's not a single more expensive piece. Like I said, they're absolutely deserving of that name. This stuff is so nice. It makes me sick. I want to puke. It's disgusting. They look fake. It's crazy, man. Coral Kings, check them out. Thank you for watching this episode of Fragbox TV. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting everyone here. We're out of t-shirts. I wish I brought more. I'm going to bring a hundred. That might not even be enough. Uh, if you like the channel, if you like the content, subscribe. We will see you guys back here very, very soon. Love each and every one of you. Bye-bye.